Hey, my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday was the Billboard Music Awards. Specifically, this Music Awards was for women in music. But of course, there had to be some speculated drama that happened between the two artists, Dochi and Lotto. Now, this alleged information has been going around all blog pages, but where I seen it first was Pop Base. Shout out to them. Let's go ahead and get into what they wrote. They said, Lotto and Dochi reportedly get into a verbal altercation at the Billboard Music event. Reports from the event confirmed that Lotto was asked to leave by security sheesh now allegedly this all started off with dochi giving her speech and crediting female rappers who paved the way for her like Nicki minaj and many more now let me just say this now after dochi said Nicki minaj's name like not even two seconds after dochi said Nicki minaj's name the cameraman decides to zero in on lotto's face and show what lotto is looking like while Nicki minaj's name was mentioned now while everybody is posting how Lotto was looking while Nicki Minaj's name was mentioned. Nobody is paying attention to the fact that it was completely messy and absurd for them to even zero in on her face, knowing the situation that happened between Nicki Minaj and Lotto to begin with. But for them to zero in on her face while Nicki Minaj's name is being mentioned was completely, completely messy. And I'm surprised that nobody is talking about how messy it was for them to zero in on Lotto. Lotto's face. Now, I honestly don't feel like Lotto was looking any type of way or giving any type of stink face. She wasn't rolling her eyes or anything. So I don't really even see the problem to begin with. But people definitely have to open their eyes and realize that there was plenty of people at that award show that they could have zeroed in on and they decided to zero in on Lotto specifically. And that was messy. Since when did the award shows get messy? Maybe they've been messy. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Now, anyways, people started to speculate that Lotto was upset at Dochi after she mentioned Nicki Minaj's name, and they thought that Lotto was trying to shade Dochi when Lotto won her award and got on stage, and she was talking about females who paved the way for her and who won her award before her, like Megan Thee Stallion and Doji Cat. Now, I'm not really sure why people would think that she would mention Nicki Minaj's name when, one, Nicki Minaj hadn't won that award that she had won, and she was naming women who had won the award that she had won won and second of all she got into a situation with Nicki Minaj why would she sit there and mention Nicki Minaj's name like they came at each other hard Nicki Minaj came at her hard why would she sit up here and be like, oh yeah, Nicki Minaj, that doesn't even make any sense. Now, once this blows up and gets all over the blogs, Lotto, she decides to debunk the rumors. And you know what? I'm going to take that back. She actually didn't decide to debunk the rumors, but she decided to actually show proof. And she also shows a video of her before the whole award show. I believe this was on the red carpet. She said that she loved Dochi and she couldn't wait to see Dochi perform. She also posted and she said, y'all arms not sore from all that reaching. So, that's a lot of responding to the situation in the blogs and people posting about it and she's just saying that people are reaching very hard now she didn't really debunk the rumor and say that it didn't happen but she is saying that people are reaching so maybe not everything that people are putting out about the situation is true but like i said people need to realize that them zeroing in on lotto was completely messy and this is not me taking any sides aside from the situation aside from all the drama lotto looked completely gorgeous she did a good job performing same thing with Dochi. Dochi looked completely amazing and she did an amazing job performing as well. Two of these, both of these ladies are great performers. They did well. They looked good. And I feel like if there's any drama, if there's any drama, that it should be put to the side. You know, we don't need any more beef or drama going on between any artists. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if the award show or the people who was working for the award show or whatever set up this whole drama and everything because like I said, they could have zeroed in on anybody else. I mean, Chloe Bailey was sitting right next to Lotto. Anybody, they know why they zoomed in on on Lotto's face but nobody wants to pay attention to that everybody wants to just pay attention on how she was looking like I said I'm not taking sides with any situation I'm just saying people need to pay attention to you know what's really going on anyways let's go ahead and move on to Glorilla now allegedly Glorilla decided to fire her security guard after the incident that happened a few weeks ago when fans got very angry at her in Oakland and they threw water at her all because she did not want to perform a specific 
song that they wanted her to perform. Well, her security guard decided to recently come out and he said that Glorilla actually fired him after that appearance because he wouldn't go back and boop, 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 fight with one of the girls, like mess them up or, you know, beat them up. Now the security guard in this video, he's basically explaining his side of the story and he's saying that, you know, he would have done it if the women threw the water directly in their faces, like Glorilla in his face. But they didn't do that. They threw the water while they were walking. So it only hit the back of their necks and their backs. So he didn't think it was so much of a big deal for him to just go back and mess them up or fight with them. And plus he's saying that he could have gotten into a a lot of trouble if he would have listened to Glorilla and went back and messed one of those girls up like he could have got locked up he could have you know lost his security license or anything along those lines so he didn't want to do anything like that and I guess Glorilla just wasn't feeling it she maybe didn't feel so protected and she decided to fire him and I'm guessing she's going to get some new security now I feel like this is unfortunate for this security guard y'all let me know do y'all feel like Glorilla is wrong or do you feel like Glorilla has a right to switch out security guards if she's feeling like she's not being protected in the right way i mean i can see where the security guard is coming from with this situation like i said i want to know what y'all think now moving on to our last topic which is going to be india westbrooks and devin haney now it seems like these two have been going strong for a little while but these two have actually broken up india she confirmed these rumors was saying that she wishes devin haney the best now am i completely surprised to see that devin haney and india westbrook broke up yes because i feel like these two were going very hard for each other like india she was at every one of his, his matches supporting him she had a shirt of you know his face on her i mean she was going hard in her interviews she was even talking about in a couple of years they were going to have kids with each other so i thought these two were in it for the long run like i said they have been lasting for a little minute but now it looks like these two decided to call things quits and i like my girl india i really like india i feel like she's a gorgeous girl but how you get them is how you lose them baby if you guys don't remember when Devin was dating Jania Jania basically was saying that Devin was cheating on her and that's why they broke up almost immediately after Devin Haney and Jania broke up Devin had moved on to India Westbrook's like not even a minute later like a couple of hours after the breakup was announced he was spotted out with India Westbrook so like he just did not care and now it seems like it's the same thing with India India Westbrooks now Devin Haney has been spotted out with another Instagram model so it looks like he has moved on super fast almost immediately after India Westbrooks announced that these two broke up now today we see that he is with a whole new Instagram girl a whole new Instagram model that's what I'm saying how you get them is how you lose them and if things don't work out between him and this new Instagram model he's just going to move on to somebody else as quick and I'm starting to believe that saying that guys don't heal they just move on to another girl and I think that's completely true but it's messed up and he needs time to heal obviously he's been jumping from relationship to relationship but y'all let me know what y'all feel about all these topics my lovely tts once again thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and like I always say I will see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night